Pass you. What's that? <laughs> so, well, let, let's talk about those buildings. Wow. So, what, what is, you know, fashion working, what they're building down there? It's probably going to start with K-L. It means to me a lot to me because I never had that when I was growing up. You know, the only, only real critiquing and training I really had other than the coaches that trained me was watching it on television. Now you have someone like Will, who's over in Houston, who's putting together programs for kids to understand what we do as professional athletes, and that's amazing. And um, just to be a part of it, you know what I'm saying, to be able to talk to him and talk to his kids, it's been an amazing thing, because I think what's really important is grassroots programming. Grassroots programming is the next step for our, our, our generation right here. <laughs> so, I mean, other than that, you realize that, I mean, we're doing amazing things out there, um, and you have to take your hat to all these athletes who step out here as professional athletes, but we definitely have to slow it down and back it up and give praise to these young athletes who are coming up, you know? We, you know, we don't give them the praise of doing amazing things and then step like on the stage. No we wait for them to get to this stage. I, I think like we just need to lift them up. Definitely. And so and would you be interested in coaching after your school career? It sounds like you have a lot of passion for uh, It's going to take a lot of passion. You know, to be a really good coach, you have to take a piece of yourself out and put it in your athletes. When they win, you're happy. When they lose, you're just as sad as them. You know, and you got to be at practice every day when they got to be at practice. Uh, it takes a lot of commitment. So I think that I have to really change my focus and my mindset to not just drag myself out of bed, but be able to drag 10 other athletes out there as well. Be, be a leader. Thank you so much. So, and this will be my last question, Yeah, thank you. Just like, as you're kind of the player in the sport Hello. world, and you're kind of like this guy, this godfather, what do you want to see the next generation oh, yeah, do? Have fun. I think what we, what we lose when we have these contracts and these uh, sponsorships and the pressure of social media, we lose that passion, that fun that we're supposed to have with our sport. You know what I mean? When you just want to get out of bed and run the fastest you can run, train as hard as you can train so you can be the fastest you can be and be on that Olympic podium. A lot of pressure is put on these young athletes at an early age. You know, when I came out, I was 20, 21, but I didn't have social media. Now you have athletes who are 19 years old, 18 years old, you know what I'm saying, who have the pressures of social media and the pressures of younger athletes looking to them on a daily basis and you lose that happiness, that joy that comes with it. So bring that back. Things and my goals was to cross that line, injury free, come back. And I was able to do that, still drop a sub 10 and be able to move on with uh, the rest of the season. So do you, so how many more races do you have this season if you are, can you guesstimate? Maybe two, Maybe we'll two. see. We'll see where it is. Um, like I said, I mean, coming back from that injury, I, I tore my hamstring mm -hmm. to be able to sit back and just kind of just all emotionally offload and watch the Olympics. I still had enjoyment in that. Um, but just to come back for the rest of the season, I'm so happy about that. So being an OG in the game, knowing these young kids are coming up, what is some advice you can give that someone gave you to help you get to the spot that you're in now? Enjoy it. Enjoy every minute of it because it's gonna go by so fast. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a lot of their, this is a lot of the athletes, young athletes, this is their first Olympics. Mm -hmm. A cycle's gonna come back in not four, but three. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna come back in three years and get ready for the next Olympics, mm -hmm. and the next World Championship, the next Olympics. Mm -hmm. and by, by the time you look at it, it's gonna be eight years down the road and your career is almost done. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these people don't even make it to another Olympic cycle. So what I say is enjoy every moment of it, have fun with it, come across the line, have camaraderie, hug each other because not only have you worked hard to get where you're at, but you're at, your competitors have worked just as hard too. So knowing that Shakiri loves you and y'all have a great relationship, what are some things that you have gave her to help her in her situation and things that she's going through as being such a big athlete at such a young age? I told her when she came to the warm barrier and she was very emotional mm -hmm. about the race today. Mm -hmm. And I told her when she, when she hugged me, I said, don't do it out here. Mm -hmm. Today is not a loss, it's a lesson. Mm -hmm. You learn something today. Now take that. Put some, put some hunger on top of that and come back stronger. I know she has the capability to go out there and run 10-5, 10-6. We know she can do that. It's about dialing in and focusing on that.